Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my August TBR. I just got a team message. I forgot what month it was for some reason, but yeah, I'm going to be talking about all my August books that I want to read. I will say school is starting. I actually move into my dorm room August 6th because I am a resident assistant. So there will be like college related vlogs um, coming soon along with book videos because obviously I'm gonna keep on doing book videos, but I don't know how well I'm going to stick to this TBR just because of RA training for two weeks and then we have school starting there's just gonna be a lot of things happening. So this feels like a very ambitious TBR, even though there's only seven books. But anyways, enough rambling, I'm gonna talk about them. We're gonna start with my nonfiction book, which is actually, she said, Breaking the Sexual Harassment Story that helped ignite a movement. So this is co-written by Jodi and Megan, huge uproar of women coming out saying they had been sexually harassed by a famous person and two journalists wrote about it. There's actually a movie coming out and I saw the trailer when I um, went to see Where the Crowd at Sing and that is what like made me really want to read this book. I've had it on my shelf for a few months um, because my friend Libby actually read it. But yeah, I am super excited to read about this. I feel like these are probably the two journalists like and this is like all their reporting and stuff. But yeah, I'm super excited about this and I will let you guys know what it is. I'll probably watch the movie when it comes out too because why wouldn't I? Um, but yeah, there's this book. I actually almost got through her entire backlist. I think I have like nine or ten, which sounds like a lot of books, but um, it her books are so easy to read that it flies by. But um, three of the books that I have, I'm, I'm counting this as one book but it's actually three books and that's because it's a trilogy so i have slammed actually her debut novel at least as far as i know that's what it says on the back but it says following the unexpected death of her father 18 year old lakin becomes a rock for both her mother and her younger brother she appears resilient tenacious but inside she's losing hope then she meets her new neighbor will a handsome 21 year old whose mere present leaves her flustered and whose passion for poetry slam slammed thrills her not long after a heart-stopping first date during which each recognizes something profound and familiar in the other, they are slammed to the core when a shocking discovery brings their new relationship to a sudden halt. Daily interactions become impossibly painful as they struggle to find a balance between the feelings that pull them together and the forces that tear them apart. Only through the poetry they share are they able to speak the truth that is in their hearts and imagine a future where love is cause for celebration, not regret. So yeah, there is book one, book two, and then book three. These are all about the same couple, I'm pretty sure. I just read that the third one now that they're married, so I'm assuming it works out. But anyways, I'm going to try to read these. I feel like these are going to be super easy to read. Um, Colleen's always super easy to read. So yeah, this is my August pick. I already know my September pick. So yeah x are like my hopefuls but if i don't get to them i don't get to them the first one being ellen elin hildebrand's golden girl i actually went to my friend libby's house this past weekend and for some reason i bought four elin hildebrand's or elin ellen elin elin hildebrand i bought four of her books and i decided to start with her newest published um obviously the hotel in nantucket super popular that's her newest published but this one was written in 20 21 I think or maybe 2020 I don't know it is the most current book I own of her so I want to start with this one I know she's a summary um, author so I obviously want to read it hopefully hopefully read this before the summer ends but yeah this one I have Dolly Alterton's Ghost I want to start reading like more literary fiction slash um, like female empowerment books I feel like there is certain categories on book talk or book Instagram and it's like you have your cute romances, you have your thrillers, you have your feminist literature. And not saying that this is feminist literature, but I just feel like it gives like smart girl vibes. It's a fiction book, it's not nonfiction, but I do love Dolly Alderton's um, memoir, Everything I Know About Love, thought that was super good. Apparently there's like a TV show about that, which I didn't know about, so I might have to watch that. But yeah, this says everything gets easier in your 30s, right? Though she has plenty to celebrate successful career as a food writer, new home, loving friends and family, for Nina Dean, her 30s have not exactly been the liber liberating, uncomplicated experience she was sold. Her fading friendships to exes popping the question, everyone is moving on or worse to the suburbs. And as her dad slowly loses his memories, her mom seems dead set on making new ones. Then she meets Max, who tells her on date one that he's going to marry her, but what what seems like an exciting new development will ensure this year is, ne is Nina's strangest yet. 
so it sounds super good um it sounds like there are some good themes discussed in this i'm super excited I, again like i said i like her writing so i'm excited to see her fiction one and i'm pretty sure this book came out before everything i know about love so i think that'll be fun to read next one i have is hannah orenstein's fourth novel i think it's the fourth novel i own of hers i got this in my amazon haul that i posted a few weeks ago or a week ago not sure how long ago that was um but yeah this is set in the summer which is why is it why it's on my tbr because i just want to get like my summary reads read or at least i'm trying to eddie meyer knows her date her grandmother gloria has accurately predicted the day every single member of the family has met their match eddie's is june 24th 2022 when she's 29 years old that morning she boards an airplane to her twin sister's surprise engagement and when a handsome musician sits beside her she knows it's meant to be the fate comes with more complications than Eddie expected, and she can't fight the naive suspicion that her perfect guy doesn't have perfect timing. And after a shocking revelation rocks Eddie's carefully constructed world, she's forced to consider whether love chooses us as simple as destiny or if we choose it ourselves. So yeah, those are all the books I want to read this month or this upcoming month. I know I'm posting this, I think, July 30th. Um, so it's not quite August, but yeah, these are the books that I'm going to try to get through. Like I said, this, um, these upcoming weeks, I've been posting twice a week, I think almost all summer, um, minus like a few times. This upcoming month is just going to be busy with moving, training, school starting, a lot happening. So if I'm not posting as, um, regularly or not as frequently, um, please bear with me. I will try to get back into a routine. Hopefully... Hopefully there will be no changes, but we never know. Um, maybe I should try to pre-film some videos because I'm actually recording this Friday, July 29th. So you can see that it's a very um, quick pace turnaround. So maybe I should pre-record something so you guys can keep on seeing my face. Sorry for the rambling. I also wanted to say thank you for 700 subscribers. That is so exciting to me. I'm just so excited that it, it means so much for me. If you guys subscribe, thank you watching thank you um if you're watching and not subscribe you should subscribe but anyways i am going to go thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later peace and love bye guys